my commute to work isn't your average morning commute, I've got to travel a long way to get to my office because it's all the way up there on the International Space Station. Salisbury near the ISS? Turns out public transport can't even get me within walking distance, so I've had to think outside the box. Hitchhiking. Hey, mate. Hey, you heading to space? What? Space? No. Yeah, this is what it's like for NASA astronauts trying to get to work on the International Space Station. Sort of. While they don't use buses or cars, they do have to borrow spacecraft to hitch a ride to the ISS. Because for a while now, they haven't had a ship of their own. It hasn't always been like this, though. I'll we'll give you a ride. And for 30 years, NASA had space shuttles. These reusable, aeroplane-style designs first launched on the 12th of April 1981. They flew 135 missions, carrying more than 600 astronauts to work. And more than 1.3 million tonnes of cargo, including the Hubble Space Telescope. But there were also a couple of big disasters. Lift off of the 25th On January the 28th, 1986, Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart seconds after liftoff. We have a report from the Flight Dynamics Officer that the vehicle has exploded. The shuttle program was suspended for about three years and came back in 1990. Lift off of the space shuttle but discovery. tragedy struck again in 2003 when Space Shuttle Columbia also broke apart as it returned to Earth. The cause in which they died will continue. Our journey into space will go on. The shuttles kept shuttling for another few years, but safety concerns and astronomical costs of more than 675 million bucks per launch eventually led to the shuttle program being retired in 2011. Its place in history secured. The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. But we astronauts still had to get to the ISS, so we turned to the only other country that had the spacecraft to get up there. Russia. And there is liftoff. Yep, Russia's Soyuz spacecraft were the only space taxis for nearly a decade. And while Russia has been a leader in the international space program right from the beginning, the war in Ukraine has made things complicated. Because of sanctions, European astronauts aren't allowed to ride in the Soyuz. Plus, Russia is planning to drop out of the ISS and build its own space station. NASA have been trying to solve the problem, though. In 2014, they gave a few billion dollars to a couple of private companies and asked them to build their own spacecraft to get us astronauts up to work. SpaceX was the first to get one off the ground, taking cargo to the ISS back in 2012 and crew in 2020. Now, Boeing are trying to get their Starliner off the ground, but it hasn't gone smoothly. Hurry up! I'm late! After one failed attempt, they managed to get an uncrewed test flight to the ISS in 2022. And a few weeks ago, the crew strapped in for the first crewed mission. But it had to be cancelled because of a leak. Then last week, another planned launch was cancelled thanks to the same pesky leak. And now it's been pushed back. Again. While it springs a bit of a leak in NASA's plans, Boeing say they want to make sure everyone's safe. Right. That's it. Take me to Salisbury. It's as close as I can get. I'll walk from there. Who are you? 